¿Qué pasó, mi amigos? Es cabeza gigante. <laughs> All right, I'm recording. Hey, gang, Andy here. Coming at you with uh, your uh, monthly update video for May of 2014. Woo! So, in case you're wondering uh, why I'm wearing this crazy getup, it's Cinco de Mayo in uh, Japan. And uh, one of the uh, cool things about Cinco de Mayo is celebrating... Uh, Mexican as well as uh, South American, Central American culture, and uh, it was a really fun time, especially when I was uh, stationed out in San Diego, because they actually uh, celebrated Cinco de Mayo, and you know they had a lot of uh, stands and stuff up where you get uh, good food, get some uh, lucha libre masks, you know that the luchadors wear, and uh, just a good time was had by all, and. Uh, there was actually a Cinco de Mayo festival this past weekend in uh, Yo Yoyogi Park. And uh, one of the videos that's going to be coming out very, very soon is uh, the video of that. So um, that's definitely something to uh, look forward to. And uh, other things coming down the pipes. I'm just <laughs> literally looking at uh, my unfinished log of videos off to the side here. Is uh, just a random collection of stuff from Yo Yoyogi Park. Uh, I just filmed it as like test footage of my new uh, wide angle lens and uh, I noticed looking at some of the test footage that the uh, the ends of the uh, frame were a little blurry looking and you could see some spots and stuff and uh, come to find out that that was from my uh, camera lens itself not not the uh, not the wide angle lens but the actual lens on the camera had some dirt on it so I'm gonna go out and uh, get a uh, cleaning kit so I can uh, get all that dirt and stuff like that off of it now it's it's hard to tell in this video but it's really noticeable when you start messing around with lenses and stuff like that so um, if you watch the video and you're wondering why does it look so funny that's why so hopefully in future videos that feature the uh, wide-angle lens I'll uh, have corrected it by then so yeah forgive me <laughs> so uh, speaking of the wide-angle lens, an unboxing video of that's going to be coming down the pipes very soon as well. And uh, as well as some more uh, archival footage, you've already seen a sneak peek of my uh, time in Sydney, Australia, when we uh, visited visited, did it, <laughs> Sydney, Australia. And uh, more of that's going to be coming out as well. Um, also, uh, some really big news is that I've decided to hop on the uh, podcast, live cast uh, bandwagon, as it were, and uh, start my own uh, live Google Hangout that I'm going to be uh, kicking off here. Um, episode one of uh, what I like to call uh, Dog and Squid Show. And uh, what it is, is uh, basically it's a, uh, like a live, live show podcasty type thing where uh, military members, past and present, as well as uh, maybe spouses and whatnot, uh, air their opinions and their experiences about not only being in the military, but being in the military stationed in Japan. Because uh, if you've seen episode one already, thanks by the way, <laughs> if you have, um, we as uh, military members experience a uh, much different Japan than uh, everybody else, you know, because we just have... A, uh, a different set of rules that we have to abide by and uh, just a different lifestyle basically so um, I'm hoping to uh, bring on guests to the show so it's not just uh, me and another guy talking I had to switch my legs there at a random moment but um, but yeah my host uh, Bushido Devil Dog he is the dog in the Dog and Squid show and I'm the squid so um, for those of you who don't know uh, military jogging Jargon. <laughs> jargon. You don't know military jargon. <laughs> so if you don't know your military jargon, jargon, Jesus. Anyway, <laughs> so if you don't know that, um, uh, the name Bushido Devil Dog comes from uh, the Marine nickname Devil Dog. And uh, he also practices uh, the Japanese art of Bushido. So put two and two together and there you go. So um, in addition to being called Jarheads, uh, Marines are also given the nickname Devil Dog. That's more of a in marine nickname so I can't like say what's up my devil dog <laughs> you know it doesn't that doesn't fly very well but um, anyway the uh, nickname squid is usually given to uh, people in the Navy like myself uh, by other branches mostly army and marines I don't 
recall any Air Force or Coasties giving us the uh, nickname Squid, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. So decided to put the two together, and we got the Dog and Squid Show. Woo! So um, I'm looking to uh, start developing a logo and start to kick things off and things like that. So we, like I said, we already have uh, episode one up. So uh, I'll put the link to the episode down below so you guys can check it out if it's not already in related videos off to the side here and uh, yeah like I said looking forward to uh, starting that up you know getting that going uh, just you know airing a completely different side about living in Japan rather than the uh, typical English teacher or student uh, living in Japan so it's definitely something uh, very interesting to check out and also a new time slot um, I basically started the uh, the Dog and Squid show with no fanfare, no promotion, uh, until this video anyway. But um, this will be my first official promo for it, as you were. And uh, we're going to start episode 2 uh, next Wednesday, right before the uh, Two and a Half Oyajis uh, live cast starts. So it'll be at 9.30 uh, Japanese Standard Time, and uh, you can go to like timeanddate.com or what have you to convert it to your uh, local time but uh, yeah <laughs> so uh, next episode will be airing uh, next Wednesday at 9 30 p.m. Uh, Japanese Standard Time uh, pending any delays you know maybe if we have something personal to get to but that's the uh, the schedule time and if it changes like I said I'll let you guys know but uh, definitely Look forward to that. And like I said, we're going to try to get uh, some more guests on and things of that nature. So yeah, um, that's what, what's going to be coming down the pipes as far as videos and stuff like that goes. Um, as far as gear and things like that, I'm still working on uh, getting the parts for building my own computer. Um, I try to shop locally, but uh, prices are a bit high for what I want. And uh, they mostly cater. They're like... Japanese exclusive stuff so like say if I get you know something that's manufactured specifically for Japanese computers I can't get like an American part to mesh with it sometimes they don't line up right or something like that so um, I'm just gonna see if I can go to like Amazon uh, dot com or maybe eBay or something like that and uh, get the vast majority of my parts through there and then maybe get a thing or two out here in uh, Japan because you know like I said Japan has a lot of good electronic stuff but it just doesn't really like to play nice with other things but like I said it, it depends on what it is though but uh, like peripherals and stuff like that you're usually pretty good but uh, anyway I've been rambling long enough and if you're still uh, watching this video thanks but uh, it's time to sign off so cheers uh can't do these uh, videos with a dry mouth, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, this is the Andy san or Cabeza Gigante, <laughs> signing off for now. Thanking you guys for tuning in to this video and my other stuff. And I also want to thank you guys for liking the thumbs or the mice for you rebels out there. And uh, like I said, commenting, sharing, send a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.